Christmas greetings from our family to yours, Pastor Margaret and I wish our friends at Ingleside Church, our Living Hope viewers, and our international network ministers a very Merry Christmas. The spirit of Christmas is more than goodwill cards and cheer. The spirit of Christmas is recognizing that the power of God was released by the Spirit of God, making the miraculous birth of Jesus possible. Without the presence and power of Holy Spirit, there'd be no reason to celebrate Christmas. The spirit of Christmas is more than parties and presents. The spirit of Christmas is not a feeling. It is a spiritual reality. While religious people debate when Jesus was born, Mary had no doubt that she gave birth to a son. The spirit of Christmas is not about a date. It is about the arrival of the most important guest the world ever received. Mary gave birth to a son whom Gabriel announced was God in the form of a baby. On the day that Jesus was dedicated in the temple, Luke tells us that an old man by the name of Simeon came in the spirit into the temple, Luke chapter 2, verse 26. It is in that same spirit that I am sharing this message. I invite you to enter into the true spirit of Christmas by allowing Holy Spirit to fill you with his presence. Come Holy Spirit and fill every person listening to this message. My purpose is to draw our attention to work of Holy Spirit in the birth of Jesus, whom Gabriel said, Emmanuel, God with us. Holy Spirit moved upon the great prophets of the Old Testament to prophesy about the coming of Messiah. Over 700 years before the birth of Jesus, prophet Isaiah was moved by the Spirit of God to write, The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. As the fullness of time for Messiah to be born arrived, Holy Spirit became active, preparing the hearts of the ones God chose to bring about his plan. It all began with a virgin by the name of Mary. Matthew wrote, The birth of Jesus took place in this way. When his mother had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. When Mary asked, how would this be possible? Gabriel said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. The spirit of Christmas comes alive when we open our hearts to God and give him space to conceive new ideas and ways for us to follow him. The spirit of Christmas comes alive when we say with Mary, let it be done to me according to your word, Luke chapter 1, verse 36. Next, the angel Gabriel spoke to Joseph about God's plan for the Savior of the world to be conceived in Mary's womb. Joseph's first thought was to quietly separate himself from Mary. Luke tells us, but as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 1, verse 20. The spirit of Christmas comes alive when young men believe that God has a better plan than they could have ever imagined. After the Holy Spirit moved upon Mary, she went to visit her aunt Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. Luke reported that Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 1 and verse 41. The Spirit of Christmas comes alive when older women are filled with Holy Spirit. Not only was Elizabeth filled with the Holy Spirit, her son was also filled with the Holy Spirit. Gabriel had announced to Zechariah that the son to be born must be called John and that he will be 
great before the Lord, and he will be filled with Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. Luke chapter 1, verse 15. The spirit of Christmas comes alive when children, even in their mother's womb, are filled with Holy Spirit. After John was born, his father Zechariah prophesied over his life. Luke wrote that, Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of David. Luke chapter 1, verse 67 through 69. The spirit of Christmas comes alive when fathers are filled with Holy Spirit and prophesy over their children. On the eighth day after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple to dedicate him to the Lord according to the law of God. As they entered the temple, they met a spirit-filled prophet. Luke says, Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the spirit of the Lord was upon him. Luke chapter 2, verse 25. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not taste death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple. Luke chapter 2, verse 26 and 27. He took Jesus in his arms and blessed God, saying, My eyes have seen your salvation, that you have prepared in the presence of all people a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and for the glory of your people Israel. Luke chapter 2, verse 28 through 32. As John prepared the way for Jesus' ministry, he preached a very clear message. He said, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandal I'm not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire. Matthew Chapter 3 and verse 11. All of these encounters brought the spirit of Christmas alive in the first century. The spirit of Christmas remains alive in the hearts of all who were filled and led by the Holy Spirit. And then on the day of Pentecost, Holy Spirit was given to all the followers of Jesus. Peter, quoting from prophet Joel, said, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, And all your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men dream dreams. Acts chapter 2, verse 17. The spirit of Christmas is not just a holiday. It is the spirit of God living in and through the followers of Jesus every day of our lives. Open your heart to Jesus. Invite Holy Spirit to release the spirit of Christmas into your life every day. Allow me to pray for you. Thank you, God, that the spirit of Christmas from the first century remains to this very day. Thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit preparing the way for people to see the hand of God in the birth of Jesus. I invite you to receive Jesus as God's gift of salvation to everyone who believes. Jesus is a light to the Gentiles. Invite Jesus to come into your heart and forgive all the sins you have committed and make you his child. The Spirit of God is always moving in new ways and releasing new ideas. If the Spirit of God spoke to you through this message, write to me and let me know what God has done for you. We wish you every blessing at this Christmas season.